We're smoking all my dragons, Divine Righteous, Almighty Greats Overachieving, Never Slacking. We got Cat Williams, and this is his uh, a clip from him on a Joe Rogan podcast, you know, the Joe Rogan Experience, which their video, I think it already did like, what, over 8 million in two days? But this is Cat Williams on Jeffrey Epstein in the Illuminati. So, with that being said, original link in the description, let's hop into it. <laughs> the Joe Rogan Experience. This is why those um, one world people exist, because it's a very powerful concept to have and far too lucrative and beneficial to not be attempted. Yeah, I mean, if I was going to run some global power organization, I would try to co-opt every single leader try to suck them in, offer support, bring them out to wherever the fuck I have my big-ass meetings, fly everybody in in private jets, talk about the climate crisis. All organizations have to follow the same rules. Yeah, that's wild. Recruitment is an important facet of all. Like We have to get some young global leaders. Well, understand, this is the only reason that um, we can talk about these big... Illuminati like entities at this period of time is just because of time like they aged out like you can't right get in new <laughs> so <laughs> everybody got decrepit over there and they can't exchange really through this period of history and so that's how we ended up with the Bob Lazars and everything. Throughout history, you could really, it was much easier to um, get people to not tell nobody. Right. As part of your job. You know what I mean? Imagine going to a World Economic Forum party. Mm -hmm. What did those freaks do when all the listening devices have been scanned out of the room, all their phones been put into bags? and locked away in a lead vault. <laughs> what do those freaks do? Because you know it's not normal shit. You know everybody's buttoned down like that and wants to control the world. There's something involved that's outlandish that they keep a secret. That's always been the case with secret societies. I mean, that's the whole eyes wide. Joe Rogan trying to get Cat Williams in trouble low key. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. You know Cat Williams already done been through hell. He's going to say something that's going to get him, uh, you know, in trouble. My chat thing, that there's some freak shit going on behind the scenes to anybody that really wants to control everything. You don't just want to control everything. You want what? to control everything so you can get away with some freak shit, too. Right. I'm I mean, it's true, though, like, as far as to control everything. For those that seen the, the fall of the House of Usher... I watched that last week, and that pretty much explained everything. I mean, there was the, the twins it started out with that made that pact with, like, that entity and um, to, to pretty much be on top. And the sister, she was, like, infatuated with just control and creating this AI and conscious stuff. And she was she was obsessed with that. And it's like, you just, that that show really, to me, I felt like was showing us what's going on right now. <sighs> Man, that was wild. Because even when you look at like birth and death, right? When you look at traditional culture, you know, we had our we had our birth doulas who, you know, they would give birth through the water. They would, it, with death, you had, uh, you know, uh, once again, in traditional culture, you'd spend time with the body. Now it's like, it's, at least in the Western world, they control everything. Everything. Oh, I need. I need a. I need a. Uh. Uh. uh was it a, 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 a? Blood test. Blood test. Blood test. Oh, can we get this? Can we get that? They. They. They want. It's like you. Everything. It's like control. Nothing's like natural anymore. I'm saying, but these Epstein, like characters, have existed throughout history. Throughout history. Whether they throughout were history. kings or what, like, mm -hmm. like. That's the truth. All you gotta do is go watch a little bit of Game of Thrones, a little bit of Vikings, a little bit of the 300, a little bit of Spartacus, even though I haven't seen that. I'm gonna have to check that out. But it's it's it, it always show you how how things happen. The Last Kingdom, you see a lot of wicked stuff. Uh there's this actually this new 
show called Shogun on FX that I'm definitely interested. I want to check out. I know I'm going to see some stuff in there. You know, it's just wicked, wicked people and wicked groups throughout history, throughout history. Like um, human beings are human beings uh -huh. universally. So yeah. um, e everybody is a supplier. Epstein, Weinstein, like these guys um, knew what these extremists liked and provided it mm -hmm. and provided the way for you to ha like, like, um, it reminds me of like, like once again, you know, those shows like Game of Thrones where you see like, they just do so much stuff under the scenes, like, you know, behind closed doors. That's like, what? Oh, he's up to something evil. You know, just these certain different rulers and families. And it was like, like he said, it was people who knew what they wanted, whether it was like a king who, let's say he had a bunch of daughters or like the bunch of younger, you know, underage, and they would provide, you know, it was certain people who played that middleman secretly to benefit. So it's like, I, yeah, it's always been that. That's what he's saying. To have a billion dollars and not create... A fantasy island type environment <laughs> has not existed throughout history. Right. We're going to wrap that up right there. I'm glad Cat Williams, uh, you could tell he was really thinking about, you know, his, his answers. He wasn't just answering or saying things just, you know, like he would in the past. That's gotten him in trouble. He just intelligently sat back and answered the questions without, uh, really saying anything that was too like, oh, this is going to be crazy. He didn't have to do that. But uh, shout out to Cat Williams on a Joe Rogan experience. And uh, yeah, check out the fall of the House of Usher because I really feel like they're showing us what's happening right now. I feel like a lot is falling. I mean, you can just look around and see it. And uh, it's really, it's really no avoiding it. But with that being said, if you want more videos like this, hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell. Much love, yeah.